Hey everybody, it's Dottie Reborn Mom 7911, and we're here with Addie. Yes, my sweet Addie. Can you see her good? I'm trying to videotape or video uh, at a different angle. And she's still in her outfit we put on her Tuesday. Yes, she is. But it's kind of cool here, which is so funny. It has been so hot here this past week in Alabama. And, Lord, to wake up this morning and it is cold. I mean, extremely cold. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put her in this little outfit I'm going to show you really quick. <clears throat> it's a little overall outfit and it has yellow flowers and hearts all over it let me see who it's by because I don't really know honestly I don't know <laughs> it just says three to six months on it and the little um, long sleeve onesie is small wonders and it's zero to three months but it's got this yellow trim I gotta learn my uh fabric information because I don't know what that's called but anyways it's a pair of little overalls that snap and I got her some yellow socks to match and these little white shoes they look huge they are huge actually they're size 2 and when I bought them I didn't realize they were so big and I couldn't return them because I bought them from a yard sale but that's okay I'm expecting a baby sometime Oh, I'm going to have done, um, I want to say like March. I had her a yellow bow and I am looking for it. Do you ever do that? Do you ever gather up all your stuff to do your babies? And then all of a sudden, bam, you lost something. And I am looking for her yellow headband. And this is making me ill. I just hate that. Watch, I'll find it when I get through videoing. I'm not going to wait, though. I'm going to find it now. Because if you know me, bows are my thing. I love headbands. I love bows. I wonder if it's up underneath her. Mm, nope, it's right here. Okay. I'm going to put this little headband on her. And we're going to try to feed her. I hope she's, you can see her good. Anyways. But yes, that is what we're going to do for Fashion Friday. I'm going to take her out of this purple. Yes, I am. We're going to take her out of this purple. Because it is cold today. Well, not cold, but it's cool. So, and I'm just going to get her ready for the weekend. Is anybody doing anything fun for the weekend? Because I don't think, I don't think we are. To be honest, I don't think my husband and I and the kids are. <sighs> my I went and sat with my granny yesterday and um was hanging out with my granny <clears throat> and she my uncle takes care of her because my granny um can't no longer take care of herself. So I went over there yesterday to sit with her while he ran to town and spend a little time with her. And when he got back, he was like, let's go to the flea market this weekend. I didn't really feel like going to the flea market. Because the last time we went to the flea market, the one that is close to me is kind of small. And it's not really a flea market. It's a guy market. Because when you go in there, all you see is smelly, oily tools. And I'm sure there's few women out there that would like be in hog heaven but I was not there was no baby clothes there was absolutely nothing that was interest to me at all nope 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 so <clears throat> now my husband's more than welcome to go but I think he's going hunting this weekend I'm not 100% sure but I think he's gonna go hunting this weekend you know it's that time of year. It's both season right now. And um, I think he's going to go hunting. And I think my kids and I will just piddle around the house and do nothing. 
to say, but maybe we can go to Mobile and see Popo. Yeah, that's my daddy. We call him Popo. Yeah. We're going to go see Popo this weekend. Yeah, because he turned 57. <clears throat> but yeah, my dad's birthday was um, Thursday. And he lives about... <sighs> Depending on who's driving, <laughs> between two to three hours away. <laughs> if I'm driving, it's going to take three hours. If my husband drives, it's two hours. So, yeah. This is just a tad bit big in her neck, but that's okay. You know, it's warm. And these long, I keep messing her head up. These long sleeve suits like this, it's okay to be roomy and big. But anyways, I'm going to go to my dad's. My dad and my stepmom are not... My dad collects NASCAR. And apparently that's okay. But I think they think it's a little weird that I have babies like this. <clears throat> They've never come out and told me that. But have you ever just felt like someone disapproves of this hobby that you do? Because I do. I feel like a lot of people um, maybe talk talk when I'm not around. Um, but I know my kids think it's strange. My husband, it's not his cup of tea. But he's not going to be mean to me about it. Because he knows it's something that I enjoy. It makes me happy. It makes me smile. And if anyone knew my husband, my husband is all about trying to make me happy. I believe my husband would walk through fire for me. We, uh, we've been together 16 years. And, um, I believe with all my heart, God put him on this earth for me. He was my, he was, he was he saved me. He really did. You know, um, I was in a dark, bad place when I met him. We were friends. And that's what I needed. I needed a friend. And he was an awesome friend. And his friendship grew into love. And we, I mean, I loved him, but I mean romantic love. So, yeah. Yeah. Trying to get her all dressed. I should have put her in some tights. I normally do when I put jean material on her. But I've washed this. And I'm sure Vaughn washed it when she had it. I've washed, I mean, I think I wash, I've washed this twice. Not that, you know, Vaughn's not, you know, nobody's not clean or anything, but when I get a baby from anybody, I automatically wash all the clothes. And then, sometimes when I'm cleaning out the closets, and on my little spring cleaning fling, even though they've been sitting in the dresser for so long, I take them out, and take them off the hangers, and I rewash them. Yes, I do. I hope y'all can see her. I really do, because she is looking absolutely yummy in this suit. And I thought it was going to be, like, really too big for her. And it's really not. She looks really cute in it. <laughs> no. Let me put on her shoes. You know, I, I have been telling Jessica from um, Always Baby Love. She has a YouTube channel. And I've been telling her for about a week now that I was going to do a tag. And I keep doing the tag. And things keep messing up for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do the tag. And it is the sensory tag. And it is if you could not see anymore. What would be your sense that you would want to have to enjoy your babies? <clears throat> and... I would have to say I have several because 
I love the way they smell. I love my babies. My babies smell like powder. I don't know if it's because they put those wafers inside of them or what, but every reborn I have ever had have smelled like newborns. I mean, from their head all the way through, you know, they just smell. And this is just water, y'all. That's all that is, just water. Um, I love the way they smell like newborn. And I also, I love the way, I, you know, you, I wash the baby clothes and that, that, um, drift and it smells like baby, you know, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, I love the way they smell and I love, I love the way her hair feels because when I'm holding her and she's on my chest and I'm sitting there I like to rub my chin across the top of her hair right there and <clears throat> feel her hair and I also like the sound when you pat a baby's bottom when they have um a disposable diaper on I love the way they sound and oh my gosh Oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. Oh, she's so gorgeous. I'm so in love with this baby. Oh. But Jessica, if I could not see, I would want the sensories to have, that I would have would be smell. So I could, you know, enjoy the baby's scent. Um, touch. So I could feel her hair. And I would have to say her feet too. Because there's a lot of times she'll be laying on my chest. And I'll have her feet in my hands. And kind of like massage them. Because I used to massage my son's feet when they were babies. So I would love to massage. You know to feel. And to hear. So I could hear while I'm patting her. Because when I hold her on my chest. And I'm sitting there on the love seat. I don't know. It's just instant reaction. I just start patting her bum. And it makes that little noise on her bum from the diaper. That sound anyways but I would have to say that those three would be touch smell and sound yep so anywho I just wanted to come on and do a little chat do a little tag do a little um let's see how many time I got here because I can't tell how much time did I say oh my gosh Oh my gosh, I can't tell. Anyways, well, I just wanted to bring her on and show you what her Fashion Friday outfit is. Do the tag for Always Baby Love. Hi, Auntie Jessica. Mwah. So we want to say everybody have a great, blessed, safe weekend. And we're going to just hang around here. So we might go see our granny this weekend because granny's never met me. Granny's seen pictures of me, and Granny didn't like the pictures of her. But I'm sure once she got a hold of you and held you, she would say, Oh my goodness, she's so sweet. Yes. I mean, she is so adorable. And she's so beautiful. Yes, I love this baby. Uh, anyways, y'all all have a blessed day. Bye.